Hey, welcome YouTubers. Welcome to the channel, Mr. Reef Buster. I am Monty. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing and first impression on my reef tank lighting. Um, now, as you can see behind me, I'm running that Chinese LED uh, from Mars Aqua. $100, you know, this is the system I ran. Um, on the previous version but this time around I want to try something different uh, step up the game a little bit get a little premium quality reef lighting so I finally went with aqua illumination Hydra 26 HD and this is the box there we go and couple of reasons why I went with this one uh, because first of all it was affordable I got a very good deal on it on Black Friday last year so I've had this since 2019 Black Friday but I haven't opened it because I didn't need to open it the tank the plan was to tank uh, to run without any lights for four months before I introduce any light this way I can let the beneficial bacteria grow <coughs> and when I turn the when I turn the lights on if it causes an algae the bacteria is going to be able to compete the you know the algae growth that's going to this light my cause so today we're going to unbox it and before I do I just the, the main reason I chose this one because it doesn't come with a controller and the reason is that because this one is controlled via Wi-Fi from your smartphone, tablet, computer. And that's what I wanted because I controller because as you can see right there, I got a controller there. There's, I mean, and after a while you run out of space for controllers. Um, so I like plug and play and wireless control. And that's the main reason I got it. So I can adjust the lights, do whatever I want from anywhere in the in the house. I don't have to be in the room in front of the controller to tweak it. I can do it from my phone, set everything up, and that's the reason I chose this one. And this is the perfect size for my nano, nano tank, and that's another reason I chose this particular version. Um, I could have won with the single puck, just one with the dual, but I like the setup better. I, this is in white or silver, and I think it's gonna look pretty cool on the tank. And so let's get, let's dive down unbox it let me show you guys what it comes with and how I'm gonna be setting it up on this tank let's go here we are guys on the unboxing table and let's take a closer look at this aqua illumination Hydra 26 HD now on the back not much going on just there's some inf information on it the features and everything um, but let's open it up and see what we get first thing you're greeted with the light itself and so let's take it out and see what we get and I'll be honest this is quite heavy actually um, I mean it's aluminum um, heat sinks up top with the fan and this is a quality material and you can tell just by looking at it and just the weight of it it's got a pretty quite a hefty weight on it for a small little guy so let's put that aside see what else we get so this is your quick start guide um, this is for me to read so I'll leave that let's see what else we get inside the box Love the presentation, by the way. Okay, so basically, your charging brick and your cable. That's about it. There's not much anything else in it. Um, so let's look at the light a little bit better. Put that aside. The 
really nice and sleek. I love the AI logo on either side. So on the back, in the back is the power cable connector and I'm assuming that's a Wi-Fi connector, I guess, to connect to your home Wi-Fi. And here is the, the light section. Um, so 26 lights, looks really, really good, really good, well made. The glass is not crystal clear. It's got a, it's got a little bit of diffuser, you know, style glass. A little stain on it, I guess, to disperse the light better. Um, but other than that, there's not much to do. And so let's hook it up. I'm going to connect it to my Wi-Fi. And I'm going to download the AI app. And I'm going to show you guys, you know, how it works. So now that we're on my phone, let's open up the app. We're going to open up the Air Prime app and I'll show you the settings I'm running. So we're going to open up the Air Prime, which is right on my home screen. You're going to see the Nano Lagoon. That's what I named my uh, AI Prime. And you're greeted on the dashboard. As you can see right now, Nano Lagoon is only one light. It's on schedule. Let me just get to the device. You're only going to see one, as you can see, which is the parents. Let's go to the effects. Uh, let me show you the effects I'm running, which is only lunar. And my lunar, I'm run from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. And we're going to get into that option so you guys can see it. So the start time is 2, ends at 3. So let's get back out. And I'm going to show you guys my dashboard and the controls and all the spectrums I'm running. So here we are on the dashboard. Let's get to the controls. And from here, you're going to see the basic overview of my timing. Now, my lights, I run from 8 a.m., I'm sorry, 8 p.m. to 1 p.m. with a one hour amp time. And this is the setup I'm running UVs at 118, violet 101, royal blues at 82, blues at 65, greens are at 6. Deep blue is at 5 and cool white is at 9. These are the most comparable settings to the AB plus spectrum, which I got from Reef to Reef. So if you guys want to run this, just you know pause the screen and you'll be able to uh, plug those numbers in. And right now I'm going to be showing you uh, the percentage I'm running during the moonlight phase, which is the lunar phase. I just got to get into it. I'm sorry. I was messing up uh, my own timing of the lunar so I just gotta put it back the way it was and I'll show you guys what percentage I'm running so let's get to two and here we are we're running UVs at 10 violets at 10 red I mean royal blues at 10 and blues are at 10 and that's it guys so let's get back to the video and finish it up and here's the uh, Hydra 26 setup I just finished hooking it up and as you can see, it looks really, really good. Um, excuse the extender wire. The reason I left the wires a little bit longer because in the future, if I want to adjust the height, I can always do that. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks after I just hooked it up to my setup. The light spread is really good. And it's a little bit on the blue side, but, you know, I like the way it is. And here's a close-up look of what I did to hook it up. I did not use... Um, the AI mounting system, I use my own. I got these little L brackets from Home Depot. And those screws came with the AI Hydra. And I just have it mounted up. And I got these, the wire hanging kits from Amazon. These are for picture frame that you can buy. I think it was $9, $10. And it came with the adjustable hook. And you just hook it up just like that. And you can adjust the height. Uh, and I mean the wire length originally came was really long and I had to cut it to adjust But I left a little bit of length this way I can always adjust the height bring it up and down as I need to um, As you can see the colors look really good the tank looks beautiful And I really like the way it came out and and my anemone Loves this light and he actually moved he was more under the rock But ever since I hooked up the uh, hydra 
he actually moved to the left side so he can get more light. So I can immediately tell he loves this light. And, you know, let's go ahead and finish up the video. Overall, guys, I'm really happy with this product. And as you can see on the video, uh, the pop my tank is getting right now, it's amazing. I love this spectrum. You know, it's got it's stronger on the blue and the purple and the violet side and the raw blue side and less on the white. Because I don't want there to be too much white light that because those promote or the reds or the greens, those promote algae growth. So I like the way it is. In the future, I might tinker with the lights a little bit as I add more corals to it. But I think this is the closest thing I'm going to get to the AB plus spectrum, which is what everybody wants to get to. And, you know, this light is amazing. I could just control everything from my smartphone anywhere in the world. I can remotely access in, adjust the lighting, <coughs> sorry, adjust the lighting, and, you know, the fishes love it. My tank looks way better than it did with those Chinese LEDs I was using before. And, you know, in the long run, we'll see once we add more corals and how those corals react to it. But, I mean, for the first impression, I am really, really excited uh, with this light. I'm really happy I made this purchase. And I think I'm going to have a really good time and I'm gonna, it's going to help the corals grow, give the tank the look it deserves. And, you know, I mean, I think it was a great option buy for me, for my personal needs and what I was looking for. And it makes sense financially as well. It's not too expensive, but it's not too cheap either. It's just right in the middle. And that's what I like about it. And, and you know, as the, as the channel progresses, as... Um, as I start adding more stuff to the tank, you'll see um, the light just complements the whole setup, guys. And we'll, you'll see, you know, once I finish covering the whole tank up, the canopy, not the canopy, the, the tank cover, I'll cover it up. That's something we're going to do in the future. And once it's all done, it's going to make sense. I'm going with it for a clean white look, and this, this light is going to do that for me. So if you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button now and the bell. This way you're notified when I upload the next video. Episode 13 is coming. And that's going to be the next couple of weeks. I just have to shoot that video so I can upload it for you guys. But thank you for watching today. And hopefully you, you have great success on your reef aquarium hobby. And until next time, guys, peace out and happy reefing.